for or against college. It just depends on what you want to do. So that's what I'm kind of doing this video for is to help you gauge what you want. Because maybe you want to drop out of college, but it's not actually what you want. Or maybe you do want to drop out of college and it's exactly what you need. I don't know. So let's talk about it. I wanted to drop out of college so many times. And I'm glad I didn't though, because of a couple reasons. Number one, I wasn't paying for it. And that's a big thing. If you're going into debt right now, if you're accumulating debt and you're not even sure if you want to do this major, then maybe it's time to reconsider your major first. Definitely reconsider your major first. So that's what I did. I reconsidered my major because I was like, I have all this money from grants and scholarships that I really need to use. So that's a big one. If you are going into major debt in something that you're like, dang, I really don't want to do this, then there's no point. <laughs> but before you drop out entirely without any plan, which I'll get to that next. By the way, sorry, my dishwasher's going crazy back there. So before you completely drop college altogether, consider changing your major and try it. And that's a little more difficult if like your parents are like, oh, you went to this school for this major, you're going to stick to it. That's a little more complicated. And just colleges in general make it really difficult to do anything. So changing your major is like a whole process in itself. So I know it's annoying, but it's worth it if it means that you're not gonna have a degree that you dislike you know so I changed from pre-med to graphic design to nothing to nursing to communications and then to nutrition and dietetics and I'm still okay this is not very inspiring but I'm still not quite satisfied with my bachelor's degree so I'm going to graduate school to get a master's anyway <laughs> but you know what it is so ridiculous to think that an 18 year old or 20 something year old should decide what they need to do for the rest of their life I'm only 21 like what am I supposed to know what I'm gonna love tomorrow or in 40 years you know I don't know it's just, I have so many interests and I'm sure so many other people have so many interests too. It's hard to just narrow it down. That's kind of my other piece of advice is to broaden your skills and knowledge and experience so that you do have options. Like maybe you're in school for something specific and then on the side, you're also learning how to do yoga. And who knows in the next few years, you might want to teach yoga and jump your career into something totally different. It's all about just pursuing what interests you, which may or may not be in college. Another thing is trade school is good, cosmetology school. And that kind of brings me to my next next point is that whatever you do have a plan because okay you don't need a plan but it is very much best to have a plan if you're really going to drop out of college because if you don't have a plan it's going to be exhausting even just trying to figure out what you're gonna do after let's say you get a full-time job and then after work you're just like oh I don't want to do anything then you probably don't want to think about the next step in your career. It also might make you anxious to not have a plan going forward. If you don't have a plan, then it's a lot more difficult to envision yourself in your dream life, whatever that may be. And kind of stemming from that, the important thing about dropping out of college is that the work doesn't stop. It's just different kind of work. So yeah, you get to stop the gruesome schoolwork, but now you have to figure out what kind of skills and experience and knowledge am I gonna teach myself or find in another mode that will get me where I want to be. So for example, if you want to sell shirts like open your own clothing line that takes a lot of money a lot of time and a lot of energy same if you want to like be a nail technician you have to go and train yourself on that and you might have a job on the side you know what I mean the other part about dropping out of college and planning on how you're going to get your dream life is figuring out what your dream life actually is. Like envisioning your future. What is the lifestyle that you want to have? Maybe it's you really want like a nice house, a boat, a nice car. Then you might want to stay in college for that or you might want to have a big business plan, big business idea to get you all the capital you need and want. If you don't really care about your living space and you could live in a really cheap place, but you want to travel a lot, put a lot of your funds towards experiences and stuff like that, then you might be able to make less money and have a lower paying career and thrive. I know a lot of people care more about their life outside of work and then other people care more about their life in work. Like they don't care if they get paid less, they just want to enjoy their job, but some people like would enjoy their job a little less just to have a nicer life outside of work. I don't know, it just depends on your preference. Also, it depends on what time of day you like to work because a lot of jobs are more nighttime based and a lot of other jobs are more daytime based and then some jobs are 24 seven based, <laughs> like starting your own business. So that's something else to consider. There's a lot of considerations here, but the big ones are if you're going into debt, if you have a plan dropping out of college and if you can envision your life once you reach 
your dream career and if you like that life you know whatever you do though you're going to have to gain some knowledge experience and skills and with that comes time and energy and that is just something that the sooner you accept in life the easier life becomes because the hard work doesn't stop it's just the happiness that the hard work gives you you want to be the happiest you can while you're doing your work because life is so hard <laughs> <laughs> it is though. Also, don't forget about changing your major. You heard my story. I changed my major like, what was that, like five or six times, and here we are. And I'm only 21 and I'm just getting started, really. So, yeah. And don't feel bad if you're not on the same timeline as other people or if you're not super ahead like some other people seem to be super ahead. Like some people go into med school at 20. Like that's crazy. I mean, good for them, that's amazing, but you don't have to be like that. And we don't know if they're happy or not. We just see them from the outside and maybe they look super successful, but maybe on the inside they feel like maybe they rush things, maybe they aren't so happy. At the end of the day, it's just important to be happy. You could be a waitress for the rest of your life if it makes you happy. It doesn't matter. Everybody needs waitresses. People People hate on food service jobs, yet everybody eats out. Come on now. I'm about to be hired at Chipotle again. That was my very first job. I'm about to go back to my first job now that I have a degree and more job experience under my belt. I do have a pay raise, but with the inflation, it's not really a pay raise. So yeah, I'm just saying I'm working on it. I'm looking for bigger and better jobs, but for now I'm just trying to make money. Anyway, I'm going on a rant now, a little tangent, but I'm just trying to show you that it's not about the prestige or like how fast you do things or how successful you are or like what college you went to or anything like that. It's about being satisfied in your own life. And I'm super excited to start working again. I don't even care that it's Chipotle because I am familiar with the workplace. It's a good temper job and it's actually the highest wage I have ever had so just the cost of living here is crazy and you know how it is anyway <laughs> let me know in the comments if you're planning to drop out or what your college or career path is like if you're going to trade school or cosmetology school if you're doing some other kind of training or certification trainings and certifications and licenses by the way are big there's so many things you can do and college is not the one route at all so yeah that's all. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you see. I do a lot of finance and lifestyle stuff on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.